Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and we're here to give you a new hike this week. We're here at Acadia National Park, still, and we're here to do the St. Sevier Valley and Acadia Peak Loop. So, we are on the west side of Acadia National Park, where Acadia Mountain actually is. The quiet side of the park. So they say. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a four and a half mile hike. Uh, it'll take us up to the peak. It'll take us through the valley uh, along the ridge and along the, let me see what river this is. We got uh, 1,200 feet of uh, ascension and five miles. So it, it's just a long part of the Atlantic. The ridge part will be. Um, we're starting close to Echo Lake, but making our way across Acadia Peak. All right, so pretty unique start to the trail. Lots of rock staircases and uh, upward motion. So this is what it looks like. We have gotten to a pretty good lookout here where we're looking at uh, everything west of Acadia Mountain. Several bodies of water, some waterways, yeah. and a bunch of mountains. Straight west we are 500 feet above the car. Pretty fast incline. Pretty fast incline. Here we are at the summit of Acadia Mountain. It's 681 feet. Good again. And the water and collection of islands is called, I think the water is called Sound Psalms. We are going to continue on our hike down and across, and we'll be on the other side here, across the way, shortly. Do we know the name of the other mountain? Because we've got to go down to, to the sea level, to the river, and then come back up and around. This little five-mile hike is oh, that's, that's quite Saint extravagant. Oh, that's St. Sevier Mountain. Oh, okay. St. Sevier. So, uh... We'll also do Valley Peak. So this trail brings you along three peaks. Wow, but for five, five miles, three peaks, wow. Yeah, we be traveling. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's That's the second the one. one. Well, the second one I think is that is up there, St. Sevier, and then down to Valley Peak. Valley Peak. Who names this stuff? Truth and advertising. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Getting pretty steep pretty quickly. I will be putting the camera down shortly. Oh. Yes, the handoff. All right, so we've gotten to a crossroads here. We've got the sign to our left. Um, there was two options we could have done. We could have done a shorter hike, two and a half miles, which would have been taking the Mano War uh, trail back to, well, yeah, back to the car. Back to the car. Straight back to the car. Uh, but we're going to carry on the St. Sevier, Xavier Mountain uh, peak ahead of us. Looks like it's 0.9 miles to that peak, and then we continue on to the valley peak. And we're going uh, about a mile an hour. So we've been sitting down. Yeah, well, climbing yeah. rocks. But it's 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 rock climbing, and it's yeah. I mean it's scrambling. It's it's no nothing technical, but um, you know we're, there's we're definitely using all fours. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to point this out. Ryan saw this first falcon recovery area. So this part of the trail is closed. We weren't going to go this way anyway, but uh, uh, I'm more than happy to give up some hiking for falcons. Those are definitely kind of cool birds. What do we got in front of us here? This has been one of my favorite 
plants, pieces of vegetation that we've come across in Acadia. It's these cauliflower looking sprouts. <laughs> um, they look like they take on the shape of like morale mushrooms. They've got lots of indentations and holes and uh, and they're just really fascinating and beautiful. The micro ecosystems are really impressive out here, which is again, part of the reason why it's a national park. Yeah. Uh, we just came across an area of very dense moss. And then like this is, you know, a lot more of what Ryan is talking about. And uh, the mushrooms are just spectacular. All these really small mushrooms. And we're starting out on the ledge area now. All right, I mentioned that we were going to come to the ledge here. Ridge. <laughs> oh. Look at the sailboats parked in the cove here. Oh, that's really nice. If you download the 4K version, you should be able to see out in between the, past the island and there's a whole bunch of sailboats. So I don't know if it's a regatta. Oh, I see that now. Or it just happens to be a bunch of boats together. Wow. And is that South Harbor over there to the left? Where all the boats are docked? That would make sense. Or is that not even a harbor? That's just a bunch of play, a cool place to dock your boat. Oof. Uh, so, <laughs> for those of you keeping a uh, score on the ledge here, this is the top of the trees. These trees are not too far out. So that's how steep the drop off is. I always North, look for trees. North, Northeast Harbor. Northeast Harbor, okay. So look at this. This is the point where the whole reason why this extension of the hike exists. So many boats out. Yep. Or we're just looking in a cove, but still. There's a lot of piers over there. Some big boats. Yeah, that one sailboat. Yeah, like... that's a that's a really big boat. All right, I turned on. We are I don't know half mile from the finish. And yet, you can see Echo Lake down there. Yeah. We are, we have a lot of descent ahead of us. Oh. Now, Ryan has found a spider. Yeah, he's hiding under this rock. Oh, okay. Probably a jumpy spider. Probably. Yeah. Those are the best kind. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you can see the road that we're going down to. Yeah, that's quite a distance. Down. Uh-huh. All right, let's get going. So uh, I think this has been a great setup, great practice for our Fundy hike. I think it's going to be exactly like this. And having recalibration of two kilometers an hour, since we have to also calculate when we're going to arrive on rivers for tides, because we cannot arrive during high tide because we can't cross the rivers. So... This is a very good, not just kind of physical practice, uh, mental, what are we getting ourselves into practice, but there's some real live data that we're pulling out of this to make sure that we can do Bay of Fundy 